Hello friends, welcome back to AngularJS tutorial series part 16. My name is Nisha and in this video we will learn how to create custom filters in AngularJS. AngularJS provides us a lot of built-in filter which we have already learned in the previous videos. If you didn't cover my previous video, I strongly recommend to cover those videos. So to visit my previous video, click on the link below. AngularJS gives us a simple API to create custom filter. If you remember, we have used app.controller and app.module to create controllers and modules. So the same way AngularJS have given us an angular.filter method to create a custom filter in AngularJS. As you can see here, to create filter, we have filter method that takes two parameters. The first one will be the name of your filter and second is the anonymous function. Now in this function, you have to return one function and this function is going to hold the logic of your custom filter. Now suppose you have name scope on which you want to apply your custom filter. So the first parameter of your custom filter input will actually denote to the value of name which you want to format. Now the next parameter is the optional and again it depends that your filter takes any arguments or not. So if you want to pass parameter to your custom filter, you already know to pass parameter you need to use colon sign and the name of the parameter. So here custom filter name is the name of the filter and value 1 and value 2 is the uh, parameters that you want to pass to your custom filter. So to hold the value of value 1 and value 2 parameter in your custom filter, you have to pass it here like this. If you remember, you can apply filters directly on a type like string or number. So if you say uppercase and lowercase that we have applied directly on a string and few filters you want to apply on a collection like order by and limit to. In the same way if you are creating your own filter then you can apply it in both ways. You can apply it directly on a string or number or you can apply it on a collection. We will discuss both ways but this video is only to apply it on a data type like string and number. So now I hope you understand uh, that custom filters are quite easy to use. Just you need to use filter method to create your custom filter. So now move to your editor and let's create a simple custom filter. So if you notice for this application, I have already set up a basic file structure where I have one index.html and app.js. In the app.js, I have one module and I have one controller. In this controller, I have array of objects that display few users information like name, gender and city. And I have binded this module using ng app here in my index.html and the controller using ng controller. And I have displayed all the users information using ng repeat directive in a table format. So first let's check the output of this code. So you can check it display in a normal table format. There is nothing new in this code that we have already discussed in the previous videos. Let's understand how we will create custom filter. So as of now, I want to apply my custom filter on this name column and I want to grab the first character from this string. So let's see how we can achieve this goal. So move to your module. Now to create your filter, the same way we have created app.controller the same way you have to use app.filter as we have discussed it takes two parameters the name of the filter so I am giving my filter name my filter you can give it any name but try to use a meaningful name here and second is a function and this is going to return a function like this now this function will actually hold the logic of your filter now I told you it takes at least one parameter that is mandatory that holds the data on which you want to work. So as of now I want to work on this name column. To grab this name value you have to pass a parameter here. So I am giving it a name input. So now what we want once we have the value. Now I want to format this value. Now you can change it to uppercase, lowercase. You can apply some string functions to manipulate this. So it's totally up to you how you want to format this input. And at the last when this function is going to complete you have to return your new output that you want to display to your user. So now what I want I want to return a new output that is going to hold our first character from this input. 
So if you remember in JavaScript, we have one string function substring that is used to grab a character from a complete string. So I want to grab a first character from this string and then I want to convert it to uppercase. So to convert it to uppercase, you can use two uppercase method. So this is a very simple example of custom filter where I'm grabbing the input from the filter and then I'm just manipulating this by grabbing the first character from this input and then converting it to uppercase and I'm returning the output. So this is done. Now I need to use this filter on my HTML here. So as you already know to apply filter you need to use pipe character. So as of now this filter is not for collection. This filter is only for particular type like string or number. So you need to apply it directly on the string type here. So to apply filter you need to use pipe character and the name of your filter. So the name of the filter is my filter. That's it. As of now, this filter is not taking any parameter, so we don't need to pass anything from here. So it's a simplest example of filter. So now save the changes and move to your browser and check how it's working. Now, as you can see, it grabbed the first character from your name and then it converted it to uppercase. Now move further and let's understand how you can pass parameters to your custom filter. Now, as you can see here, only one character I have uh, grabbed from the complete string. Now let's make it flexible. User will decide how many characters he want to get from the string. So for that, quickly create an input text here where user can type the number of characters. So I said input type text and I have to use ng model and here you can say I want to pass the limit. Enter number of characters. So whatever user will type here, it will count as a number of character that is going to hold in this limit model property. Now, as you remember to pass parameter, you need to pass after colon sign and then the value you want to pass. Now you have passed parameters. Now you have to retrieve this limit in your custom filter. So that is a task of second parameter here. So if your custom filter takes two or three parameters you have to pass it after the first parameter so I here you can say the first parameter is I said option one or simply make it option now here in place of zero you zero means starting from zero but in place of one you will say whatever the user will decide that number of character I want to return now save the changes so as of now it displays the complete string so when user say two it displayed two character. If it say three, three, four, fine. But if you notice, if user will not type anything, it's blank. So this is again a problem. So you have to resolve this one as well that by default, it should display the complete string. And if user types something that is not numeric, something like that, still it show me the complete string. So to do that, you have to put some check condition on this one that what type of option user have passed. So you say if, is not a number it means the value that user have entered is not a valid number or if the value that user have passed it is blank then i said display a complete string so whatever actual input that we have written it as it is otherwise it means the number is valid so i will return only that number of characters which is holding in the option. Save the changes. So by default, if you notice, it's a complete string. And if user says two, it is valid. If user leave it blank, then again, this if condition will get true and it will display the actual string. And if user type something invalid, still it will be complete string. So now you can see that creating custom filter is quite easy with the AngularJS and if you find anywhere that the built-in filters are not sufficient for your requirement, then you are free to create your own custom filter to make your application more interactive. So this is all for this video. I hope you like this video and if you like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.